The island of Trinidad is well known for its parties, locally called fets. These generally take place between New Year and Carnival. We're ready for the road. With the rise of the internet and new social media, we've also seen the growth of a series of professional companies that take the photographs at the parties that people will then post online. Now, one of these companies is called Lime TT. We like to hang out, we like to fet, we like to party. Basically, on average, there are two photographers at every event. If I take, at a large event, if I take 400 photos, we would put 50 on Facebook and the remainder on the website. A successful photo is usually established by the amount of likes. People ask us how to pose. This is mainly with ladies. Often they, they, they want two, one, three, or even four. They would take one and they want to see it. No, they don't like that one. Come and take another one. No, no, no. And, and each time they're going back with a different pose, I guess they're trying to get the, the, the perfect shot. Typical poses that men adopt is um, just standing there with no facial expression whatsoever. They don't smile. They have what you call the gangster face. So I have to keep on telling them, you know, just have a little smile on your face. The most um, popular facial expressions that women use when we do a photographs, like I said, was a duck face. People are in the gym, especially girls, women. They, they're happy with their figures right now. And they would go out and they would buy the skimpiest of clothes you could see sometimes, and they want their skin to be shown. Women like to show off their tattoos. People like to be taken with their significant other. They like to be taken in groups, group shots, if they're there with a, what we call a posse. We're ready for the in Trinidad, our dancing is called whining. definition I would have to say is an up close and personal, um, very personal I would have to say, movement <laughs> that sometimes for example a guy would be behind a girl and there's not even space for air to pass through. There's only one way to put it, it's very provocative. We're ready for the When we go to the event, a lot of, especially male, for myself, they want their photographs taken with me. The patrons must, they must feel comfortable with the photographer. You know, you can't just be all stiff and let me take a picture of it. The events that we go to, the patrons, they don't pay for any of the photographs that we take. We will get um, the money from that sponsorship. The photographs that we take, they're posted on our Facebook page and there's a lot of circulation from there itself where a lot of them, instead of taking the photos straight from that Facebook page, they share it. When you come to the Facebook page and you see yourself, you can tag yourself on that photo. So once you tag yourself on that photo, it shows up on your feed. And when that shows up on your feed, then it's according to how many friends you have, that's how many persons are going to see it and we have more than 70,000 followers on our Facebook page. So I guess that 70,000 people that's on our Facebook page watching our albums, watching our events that we go to, so that's 70,000 more persons are going to see you. We're ready for the road.